So, how do we wake up? How do we move from this uh, commitment of destroying the earth willy-nilly to uh, uh, saving it, returning it as beautiful and healthy for future generations to come? And how do we honor the young people and call this honoring education? I begin with the word awe. Awe for me is the nearest synonym we have in English for mysticism. Awe is an awakening experience. Awe is an experience of something greater than ourselves. It, it yanks us out, it takes us out, it yanks us out of our petty little worlds, our petty little anthropocentric worlds, into the realm of the sacred, into the realm of the sacred. And as Rabbi Heschel says, drawing in the Jewish tradition, awe is a beginning of wisdom. If awe is a beginning of wisdom, then awe is a beginning of education. Because precisely the shift we have to make in education is a shift from knowledge, which has been driving Western education for 300 years, to wisdom, which has been practically banished the last 300 years. Ernest Becker, whose Pulitzer Prize book on denial of death uh, he received after he died. By the way, when I, I met up with someone who knew him, and he wrote that book at the University of Vancouver. And um, uh, one night he gave a talk about the book. When he had finished it, four people showed up. Four people showed up, and then after he died, he won the Pulitzer Prize for it. So that should be encouragement to every artist in this room. And that means everybody. You've know, you got to follow your conscience and your integrity. And they may not show up in this generation, but the audience may show up in another generation. But Ernest Becker says, ancient man, unlike modern man, had not yet lost his awe of nature and of being. Ancient people, unlike modern people, had not yet lost their awe of nature and being. Notice how primal this is. Have we lost it? Is it present in our education? Is it present in our worship? Is it present in our art, in our movies, in our politics? Where is the room for awe? And notice, he gets right to the point. The, the basic awe in the human is an awe of nature and being. The awe of being. Now, given today's creation story from science, that we all have a 14 billion year history, and that it's been a, a tortuous but amazing journey, that itself is enough to trigger awe like never before. The new creation story is utterly awesome, but is it, has it yet permeated religion or permeated education, and thereby permeated the other professions in our, in, our, uh, in our civilization? No. The awe of being, the awe of existence itself. 